All right, everybody. Hey, Nolly Williams here, and this is Mentorship Masters Spotlight. And this is what I call the six, this is six figure spotlight. Spotlight agents here at Mentorship Masters that are already doing six figures. And today we got my main man, Nick Sir. What's up, Nick? What's going on, man? Happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, I'm real happy to have you, man. It's, uh, it's a real honor. I, you know, I still remember, Nick, when you called me initially to join Mentorship Masters. And I don't know if you remember this, but I was in the airport. <laughs> uh, and I was, I was catching a, a flight and I took your call. We talked for, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. And um, I was like, man, this guy's gonna be really, really good. And then you joined, it was actually September, um, September 30th or around that time. That, that's when we have the official clock started for you here at EXP. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, and and then then listen to this, Nick. Uh, you then I, I got a text from you in December, so you started in September, and then uh, uh, October, November. Three months later, ninety days later, you were like, "Man, how do I how do I do my daily lead generation?" In fact, I just I just took a screenshot of the text that you had sent me. You were like, yeah. "Man, how do I do this? Like, how do I motivate myself?" to do the two every day. And we, we had a, like a little conversation around that back and forth, you know, texting back and forth. Um, but, but tell us about your trajectory, man. Uh, how, how long have you been in real estate and how have you done? Because you just closed almost a hundred thousand dollars in commissions over the last 30 days. I mean, it's just phenomenal. I'm, I'm talking about you everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. I like to hear that. Yeah. So, so uh, how, how, how is, how are you, I don't know where to begin with you. So, so tell us a little bit about um, your background before you came to Mentorship Masters. Man, I was with a lot of different real estate companies. I've been leaving a lot of big ones. I've been, um, I think Keller Williams was the biggest company that I was with. Uh, I worked on a small team with them, actually. It didn't work out. That was years ago, probably four or five years ago. Um, when, you know, bounced around brokerages. I was really just trying to find a proven broker that's like, look, if you go do this, you're going to sell some houses. And I swear that was impossible. So I was like, look, maybe I'll just like, you know, my thing was if somebody can't teach me here, I'm just going to go find the knowledge. So I read as much as I could watch all these different YouTube videos, stumbled across you, just, you know, kind of, you know, go after listings, go after your sphere, you know, um, here's 27 techniques or I, I don't know how many you have, but do these, pick your few, Go get business because everything's not going to work for everybody right so i picked a few um and i think uh the celebrity part was was kind of my real thing so i'm just trying to implement everything i can to just be really annoying on top of everybody's mind i can <laughs> well and, and the, it, it's interesting because in the midst of all that you you moved i remember you you contacted me you said nolly i think i'm gonna move man and we we uh, you needed my you uh, you, re you requested my advice around the whole concept of moving back to your hometown, Seattle area. Yeah, so I moved three hours east of Seattle. I'm from right outside Seattle. I moved three hours east of there. Um, basically, I wanted to try flipping houses. In the Seattle market, the median home price is seven eight hundred thousand. The median home price over there is two hundred. Right, so it's a lot less risk. See if I like it. You know. Let's try it out. So I went over there and did my thing. Didn't like it. You know, I can make the same profit on that on an average flip as I can on four commissions. Showing, I'm meeting new people. I'm hanging out, showing a couple houses. And we're done, right? Flipping houses is a headache, man. I got to deal with contractors. Every single contractor is late or, you know, has an excuse for this or they're not going to do this. So it was a nightmare, man, not being able to kind of control my environment. When I joined mentorship masters was when i was actually starting to fix up my own personal home to get it ready for sale to get back on this side of the mountains so during those first three months i wasn't doing anything but kind of fixing up my own house you know kind of getting ready to transition back into seattle took a little longer you know i had one house and it blew apart it was awful at you know halfway through escrow so i just terminated that one and bought a different one um so I was in between homes, you know, staying with family in hotels and just went on vacation because I didn't have anywhere to stay. I might as well go have some fun. Um, landed here 
started basically networking and kind of just really getting into real estate um, at the beginning of the year. So it was basically January to February, I was building the pipeline and February to March, I was kind of getting all the clients together and then it just started, man, it just started snowballing. Like yeah. you said, I almost put 100,000 in commissions up until right now. Yeah. I have, that, that, I have 60,000 60, closing in June. 60,000 GCI closing in June. That yeah, is crazy. Like, like 64. And, and by the way, Nick, I want to congratulate you because you, you've you already capped. Uh, I, yeah. I saw that you capped here at ESP. And uh, that, that means you're going to be at 100% commission for, you know, the, you know, the our, remainder. Yeah. And I love EXP because it's a real cap. You know, I've yeah. capped at other companies and they still, it ends up being like 85, 15. Oh, I see. Got because it. you have to pay, you know, the franchise fees, you have to pay the admin fee, whatever other fees they, you know, kind of tack on that, yeah. you know, it's a few hundred bucks to a lot of people and it adds up really quickly. Right. So yeah. my last check, I think EXP took like $590 or something Yeah. out of 20 grand. Yeah, I love it, man. I love it. And, and and that's that's significant because, you know, our group right now, Nick, we have 109 members and, and so far only four have capped four and you're one of them. Okay. So you're you're in you're in the creme de la creme. And uh, but you're not just stopping and saying, OK, I capped. I'm good. You're moving forward, man. You're going to you're, you're going for that icon status. Oh, well, I need that 16 back. I need that 16,000 <laughs> out back. That's mine. I'm coming for it. You're going I'm just to, like, you know, damn, I wish I didn't start, you know, September 30th, like really start selling real estate, right? Yeah. So I got to go get that. And then next year, man, I got to cap it in the first month. Yeah. So I got to have, I got to have my October just stockpiles ready to go. Yeah, this is great. Right right back. Back. It's real important for people to understand what you're saying, Nick, because when you joined us in September, you really didn't even get started until January. And yeah, even, I wasn't doing anything. Then, you had to build your pipeline and now that's paying off for you. And cause it takes yeah. 90 days to build a pipeline. And my pipeline's in a brand, you know, I'm from here. Yeah. But man, the people I went to high school with, yeah, I'm in touch with them, but they're not buying houses, you yeah. know? Um, you had to start over from scratch. Yeah. Right? And my, my little database of, you know, my sphere is what I'm using it as is 32 people, you know, but, I just did like a really cool movie package, you know, and I thought that was huge. It was, you know, it cost me probably 10, 15 bucks, but I got a referral out of it for a $685,000 listing. That's going to sell in four days. Oh, you know, I can sell it today uh -huh. if I wanted to, which I put it on yesterday, but I want to give everybody a fair chance because I want a lot of offers. I want to go, you know, 30,000 over ask. I love it. But man. that was, I did a movie package, right? And I think everybody should hear this. My movie package was, I went to Costco and uh, Cash and Carry, and I got the big fine licorice, I got some popcorn, I got some Starburst, some M&Ms. I put those all in there. I put my book in there. Man, how cool is that? I got a book, right? Talk to Nolly about the book. Uh, a few of them I put my listing packet in, just in case, you know? And I'm just like, look, this is what I'm doing now, if you, if you didn't know. Um, and then I got Redbox gift cards. You can get them online. It ends up being cheaper than it is to actually go rent one. And I put those all together and I mail it out to everybody. And I had five or six people posted on Facebook with their kids eating and enjoying their movie that we, you know, that we got for them. And it was, it was a hit. It was a hit. And it was just, it was perfect timing with the quarantine. That, that's insane. So you actually put together a movie kit and mail the movie kit to people. Yep. So they can go enjoy a movie night and just relax in this quarantine. With, you know, they didn't have to spend nothing. They got their popcorn. They got everything, you know, personalized note. This took me a whole day. I mean, yeah. I wrote everybody a full page note, like, how are you doing? How you been? What's new? See the kids are growing up. Love to see you guys happy on Facebook. If you need anything, I don't care if it's moving a couch. Let me know. I'm here to help you. Man. So Nick, I, I'm digging this. So, so let me make sure I have this straight. You, you, you have a sphere of influence of 32 people. Is that what you said? Yep. Yeah, that, that I really feel like no trust and respect me to the point where I can call them and be like, look, I need a favor. I need some help. Yeah. Who do you know that just had some kids graduate college or, you know, are moving out the house or 
you know, God forbid they're getting a divorce. What people do you know like this? Because I got to talk to them. Oh, yeah. I read it twice, man. I, I already recognize it. I read it twice. Yeah, I, I'm laughing because right in here, I talk about that you can actually do 100 deals with a sphere of influence with 20 people. If those are really good. Yeah, if those yeah. people, the you just got to get the right 20, right? Exactly. And that's why mine just keeps getting narrowed down and narrowed down. But once this opens back up, I'm going to invite all these people to a baseball game, you know? Baseball tickets are 15 bucks a pop. But so, it's like, bring your families, let's go. So Nick, you, you have narrowed your list down to the right 32 people. And those 32 people obviously know a lot of other people. And you're just, exactly. loving, you're just loving on them. Like you, that is very yep. concentrated. That That's, that is nuclear. That That's great, man. I love it. Yeah. They're just, man, I'm just going to make them my best friends. Like I met, so open houses are my favorite. They're the best way to get clients that are ready to buy right now. I, I stand by that. So right before this lockdown, I only, I only have the chance to do like five, um, just coming into this market and then, you know, all that lockdown happened in March. I don't, you know, but out of that, I met two clients, um, which was a total of 1.45 G, or uh, excuse me, um, 1.45 million listing and one buy side. So one of those clients, I sold their town home. Now they're built, they're buying a new construction. So that's taking a while to get done because we had this coronavirus and all that and construction stopped. So they had about a three week grace period. So during that time, they got an Airbnb on the lake. Just, you know, let's, let's spend some fun time. And, that, you know, I'm going over there. I've been there once to, you know, paperwork and ended up hanging out for a couple hours. It was cool. And um, it's a mom, a grandma, three kids, you know. And so she messaged me two days ago and was like, hey, you know, I got Sunday up. We're going to barbecue it up. You got to come over, bring the family. Let's do some swimming. Let's do some hanging out. So I'm dedicating a whole Sunday to go hang out with her and all her nurse friends. Wow. But that's going to pull one. Everybody wants to buy a house and nurses are working. They can afford it. I love right? it. I love it. Yeah. So, so you, you, you have a real narrowed down uh, uh, philosophy, Nick. And a lot of a lot of agents are real scattered. They're doing a lot of different things and they're just not getting traction. They're not getting results. And um, this is great for them to hear this because when I saw that essentially in 25 days, you put $85,000 GCI uh, literally into your pocket. I mean, you earned $85,000 commission in 25 days um, uh, last month, just last month in the height of COVID and in one of the, the hardest hit areas of COVID, you know, the Seattle market. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think maybe I just looked at it different. I don't, I don't look at the market. I don't, you know, I don't care about the stock market. I don't care about any of that. The only thing that I was saying the whole time is as long as banks are lending money, I'm going after regular people that are working. And if banks stop, then I just got to get on the phone with investors because this is about to blow up. Or I got to find who wants to sell their home. So, but banks continue to lend and interest rates are phenomenal. I mean, I got one under contract. I got two under contract. One, the, the gal works at T-Mobile and she's buying a $400,000 house. No problem. Right? I mean, because interest rates. She can afford that now. With your strategies, your techniques, because I, I haven't come across many agents that are doing what you're doing. You're talking about wanting to close, you know, 50, 60,000 in, in GCI monthly, every month. So, so is your main strategy just your SOI? Do you have- No, no. So it's been open houses. It's always good to be open houses. Cause I'm not trying to sell the house I'm sitting in, right? I'm just trying to make a best friend. And if you're going to be my friend, you're going to like me, you're going to trust me, you're going to want to buy a house through me. So open houses has been big, Sphere. Um, I have some Google analytics where I get, you know, internet leads. Those aren't the greatest. But if you get enough of them, somebody's going to want to do something eventually. Um, and I haven't, I haven't closed anything off of that. I just, you know, kind of got that going. And yeah. um, But Sphere... Open houses. Uh, I've gotten one referral from. Uh, uh, it's called a core coaching program. I'm a part of this thing. 
And so since I'm a part of it, this lady just reached out to me and was like, hey. Um, but Facebook, I'm a part of a lot of community groups. So, you know, in my area, there's like Bottle Community, Edmonds, you know, and people just go on there like, hey, who would refer a real estate agent? I got some questions about buying a house. So I message every single person on there about that. And I've gotten two off of that. Um, Talk, talk also, Nick, about this whole concept of, of changing the way you think, your mindset. Because um, we talked about it briefly, that when you started changing your mindset, the way you think and the way you look at things, uh, business just started attracting to you, like attracting business. And, and, and you, you and I are not really the woo-foo, the woo-woo types that we're like, oh, yeah, sure. Like, you're just going to attract business. I think that if... Okay, so if I think that if I hunker down for a few hours a day and I'm, you know, I get in here at like 8 and I go hard till 12 or 1. I have plenty to do. If I don't, man, I can search on Facebook and, you know, just message random people that I haven't talked to in a long time. Like, hey, man, how you been? Or look at this awesome house that just sold. And random people will just go on there and be like, oh, man, that house is awesome. What else you got? Um, but I think if you're doing productive real estate activities of trying to go get business somehow you're going to get business whether it's from your action that you're doing right there or if it's from something else but it's going to start happening i think i think people would would some people would say like the universe or god uh, will reward you for the efforts that you're putting in whether, yeah absolutely yeah yeah so you, absolutely. even though you might be putting effort in here the reward will come somehow because you're at, and that are you in your lead generation bunker right now? Absolutely. Okay. So, so talk about your, so, so that's something that you committed because, because at first Nick, it was difficult to commit to do right. I mean, and this is a big struggle that a lot of agents have is like, man, how do I do the two? Like, I know I'm supposed to be doing my two hours of lead generation every day, uh, three hours, whatever, whatever it is for you. Um, but how do I how do I get in the mindset of, of doing it? And you had that struggle earlier this year. Yeah. So what I struggled with was. So I was like, OK, I want to follow this freshman. I'm going to circle prospect or call expires or do FISBOs and just, you know, pound the phone. I didn't like that. I didn't like talking to a bunch of people that didn't want to talk to me to try and find one person that wanted to talk to me. And I hardly ever found that person. Right. And so I think that if I didn't like it, that came off, right? They can feel that, like, oh, he doesn't want to talk to me, well, I don't want to talk to him type of thing. And that might be in my head, who knows, but um, I didn't want to do that, so I couldn't stay dedicated to it. It wasn't fun, it wasn't, hey, this is cool, whatever. But I think, you know, just time blocking, scheduling, like, like have your calendar set up the night before and just get ready to go in and crush it. So, I mean, if, if, if there was, you know, if I could only do two hours, what would I do? That wouldn't bug me. That would actually go and get me clients. Man, even if you don't want to call people, just message them. Yeah. Everybody will message back. I love what you're saying, Nick, because you're saying that you actually came up, and this is what I teach, that you actually came up with a recipe for doing what you enjoy doing. It's like, look, I like doing this. If I don't like it, and my, if I'm not having fun, what's the point, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk. I'm trying to, you know, once you get that one client, just don't don't pester them, but always have a reason to be like, what's up? You know, um, like I just I just sold one three days ago. We went pending um, and I could have had a courier go to her place of work and grab her earnest money check. But I'm like, man, that's an awesome opportunity. Right. So I was like, hey, do you work on Monday or Tuesday? And she's like Monday. And I'm like, OK, cool. I'm going to come by and grab that earnest money check. Is that OK? Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I, you know, she works in T-Mobile, so I'm like, okay, cool. So I go to the store, I get some balloons, I get you know this cute little flower pot thing with a bunch of flowers in it, and I'm just going to pick up a check, right? But how many people work at T-Mobile? <laughs> so I bring that in there, I give it to her. She's thrilled, right? Like, oh my god, this is so great, you know? And that was huge. So now her coworkers are like, who's that guy bringing you flowers and balloons? I know it's not your boyfriend. And she's, you know, she's, oh, that's my real estate agent. He just got me a house worth $400,000 in Lake Stevens. I cannot believe it. Because it was, you know, that was one of the things where, like, I truly believe that I'm going to be able to get this done, right? Like, I won 400 bucks from four different people. 
hundred dollars each, right? Because they said that I wouldn't be able to go get a house built newer than two thousand in this area called Lake Stevens. Well, we went, you know, they actually it was four hundred twenty thousand, but I went and got it for four hundred, right? And I got closing costs. Wow. So, you know, that's that's all a mindset. Like I'm gonna go get it. It's out there. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna not let them do their offer review day. I'm gonna make sure they take our offer right now here. I love it. I love it. So, so bringing that flower to her, she was just so excited. Mm. So, you know, and then I sent her a message like, look, I, you know, I, I, I'm so excited that you were so excited about that flower that I just brought you. Can you post that on Facebook and just, you know, show me some love? And she's like, absolutely. I'd love to brag about you, you know? Yeah, that is yeah. Yeah, that that that, and and you make it sound so simple, Nick. But those are those are some amazing uh, concepts that you're doing, and it's just that little extra effort. And yep. how much more will that will that bring you? I mean, yeah. I mean, look at it, guys. You know, four hundred thousand. That that's that's a twelve thousand dollar paycheck. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's not that's not small money. You know, and and sometimes we're we're not just we're not willing to do those little extra things. And, and for the kind of paycheck that we're making, we should be willing to do those things. I, I love it. Now, let's talk oh. let's gears for just a second, Nick, because yeah. I know you're a super busy guy. It's been hard pinning you down, oh. man. Because, you know, we got time today. If yeah, you get me before my day, just, you know, because when I get in that mindset of just like, look, I'm going to crush everything right now, man. I'm just going to smoosh it. That happens from like eight to one. I have all my calls set up. I got everything going and everything's a money generator at that point, right? It's just like, let's get some money. How are we gonna get some money? And I'm setting that up all week for the for the future. Unless it's a client that's like, let's do something. Then I'm all about you, whatever you need. I'm dropping every single thing there is. And I just, all I wanna do is see how I can help you. So, so he, there, there's a couple of big concepts I want people to hear in this. And number one, Nick Nick mentioned that he likes, when he gets into his lead generation bunker, he wants to do the activities that he enjoys doing. You know, one of the reasons that I wrote this book right here, uh, Triple My Listings, which Nick talked about it, 27 Marketing Ideas for Free Seller Leads, is that I actually preach that you should do what you enjoy doing, and that's what Nick is doing. So that's that's, Number one, do what you love to do. You don't have to do what everybody's telling you. Hey, you got to make all these cold calls if you don't like doing that. And you can still be making, like Nick, $50,000 commission a month. He's going to make over half a million a year in commissions. And and he'll never... Oh, no. Next year, September to September, man, we're hitting a mil. You, you, you got it, huh? We're going to hit a mil. A mil. A million a dollars. Mil. Yeah. A million so, dollars. He, that's that's going. Cool. Yeah, million dollars commissions, commissions. Yeah, because and, and after take home, that's you know, the the, the taxes second that up. taxes. Yeah. So the second big concept though that I want people to understand about you, Nick, is that you you're not a big. I mean, you you embrace technology like I do, but you're not super huge on technology. Oh and, man, I'm awful with technology. Look at my calendar, bro. I swear, this is this is my live calendar. <laughs> like, this is how I have my notes. I just put the date on a piece of paper. Okay, show us that again, Nick. Show us that again. It's just crumpled up. Like this is, you know, Saturday, Sunday, boom, I have none. These are my three calls that I have to have. I mean, it gets a little crazy, but I mean, this is how I'm doing my quick scheduling of, you know, the stuff that I have to get done. And I do all these the night before. So I make sure that I hit them. Yeah. So that Because I don't want to come in here sit here, think of what I got to do, get on Facebook, you know, even though, dude, I check Facebook a lot because I'm looking for these different communities of people who are like, hey, who has an agent? Or hey, who has a good referral for a uh, landscaper? Or who has a referral for a pool guy? You know, I'm like, oh man, I got this company, they're amazing. Let them know I sent you. If you need anything else, just let me know anytime. Yeah. yeah. Hey, have you ever thought about buying or selling real estate? No. Hey, have you ever did in the future? Can I just send you my information? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, what's your email? So I can send that to you. And then I have them in my database and they're gonna get something once a week for eternity from me. And it's always gonna be something cool where they're not just like, oh shit, this guy again. It's gonna be like, oh man, he's got the tips, you know? Yeah. Like I just did a video today was, you know, how to light up your backyard, get ready for summer nights, 
show me your ideas. This is what I'm doing. This is what we're getting done around here type thing. I love it. I love it. Well, guys, we've been talking with Nick, sir. They call him the real estate wealth strategist. And he he's just he's phenomenal. You know, he, he's teaching us that you can do what you enjoy doing. And guess what? You don't have to be a whiz at technology to make a million dollars in commissions a year. You just don't. And, and this is this is the same thing that many of the people, uh, Nick, at, at here at EXP have been preaching like Gene Frederick and Brent Gove, they use a, 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 a tablet, just, you know, a, not a not a tablet tablet, but a paper tablet, just like you do. Yeah. And they're some of the biggest producers at the company, you know, and so I think if I could implement technology more, it might help me a little bit. But at the end of the day, you know, well, if it's I mean, working, I fix it. Right. Yeah. And, and the thing is, you can always uh, add layers to that if you want to go into a particular niche. You just hire somebody to run that niche and then they can do all the technology they want. You know, you yep. don't personally have to learn it. You know what I'm saying? So and I'm a single agent, just so everybody knows. I don't have any staff on payroll or anything. I do pay a transaction coordinator though, and that has literally freed up all my time because it takes me forever to go through these contracts or you know, document all the different stages of the contract and when the HOA docs are in or if they got to get a quick signature. I don't need to do any of that. I don't. I'm not good at it compared to other people and it takes me a long time. And so what I wanted to do today is the yeah. reason that I come into my bunker and I'm fired up about it is because everybody can go out and make a million dollars a year doing this. And as long as I put it in my four hours that I do, I, I literally get everything done for my day in four hours. Other than that, I can do it from my phone. So, man, you're gonna catch me at the beach or on a hike or just, you know, traveling a little bit. But as long as I can get my four hours done in the morning, everything else takes care of itself and I can do it from my phone. But I know that if I get that four hours done, I have the freedom for the whole day to go do whatever I want. Yeah, and that and that's a concept that, um... It, it it took you a while because because I know you were struggling with that at first and it took you yeah. a while to snap into that mindset. Um, what what did it take, Nick, to finally get you snapped into that mindset where you where you because because now that you're there, you'll always be there for the rest of your yeah. life. Yeah. But yeah. What, if I miss a day, if I miss a day in here, or I'm somewhere, I'm doing something. I know I'm not gonna get. I I just I feel like I just lost. You know, I think a day in here is probably worth. A thousand, you know, two grand or something crazy, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm only in here five days a week, so that's 20 days a month, right? Mm -hmm. So, what's that, 1500 bucks a day? I really feel like I'm missing that right now. If I'm not in here, and I love money so much, man, I'm not leaving nothing on the table for nobody. I'm coming for it. I'm you, coming for it. You, you're not even no, you don't even have no shame in it. And I tell people, don't, oh, no. don't be afraid of making money. Making money, there's nothing. You know, even in scripture, there's 2,300 references to, to, to money and mo people say, oh, the, 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 you know, now if you, if you love money to, to, to the, uh, to the extent where, where you don't love anything else. Yeah, that's bad. But you know, look, Nick has a family. Talk about your family, Nick. Oh man, I got the wife and two kids. She's four and eight. So that's kind of my thing too, right? So if I can come in here and I really focus for my four hours, like I said, and I get my, my whole day ahead of me, we just go kick it. I love and it. I do this for them, right? So it's just like, I want that freedom. I could probably make, you know, two, three times as much as I do right now, if I wanted to dedicate more time in here. Yeah. Yeah. But I also think I'd get burnt out and I wouldn't feel good, I wouldn't be happy. Because yeah. you know, I, I come in here at 7 a.m. fired up. Well, and you, talk, you do the four hours, Nick, but, but you talked about this concept of setting your day up the day before, the night yep. before, and that yeah. kind of gets you into the excitement of what's coming tomorrow, right? Yep. And it gets but I also feel like I get a better night's sleep. If I write everything down that I have to do the next day, I feel like I get a better night's sleep because it's not on my mind. I know exactly what I got to do. Mm. There's no hiccup. So I'm just sleep like a baby, wake up like, okay, we already got the plan. Let's go. Yeah, I used to call my tablet like the like the one you use. I call that my portable brain. I I don't yep. anything on. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because I don't need it clouding up my mind. Like when it's time to sleep, it should be time to sleep. When it's time to go hang out with the kids, hang out with the kids. When it's time to come in here and do this, come in here and do it. 
Yeah. Well, you know, I, I do want to mention everybody that's watching this, that Nick is uh, one of our mentorship masters ambassadors, and uh, he's the ambassador that we have right there in, in Seattle area. So if you're thinking about, you know, joining mentorship masters or you're thinking, man, this guy, I could learn a lot from him. Like if he was my coach, if he was my mentor, I, I would I would love somebody like Nick in my life. Well, just reach out to him. You can give him a call. Oh, yeah, man, anytime. I'm so happy to talk to anybody about this. Whenever I talk about it, I just get more excited. Yeah, yeah. And you're and you're actually building your group here at EXP as well uh, under Mentorship Masters. So, you know, if, if, if you guys want to explore that or just talk to Nick like, hey, man, I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure. I mean, because here's the thing, Nick, your your profile is so I mean, you're a go getter, man. I, I'm I'm almost like asleep compared to you. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're, you 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 you're hitting it, man. You're getting it, and uh, and and that and, and I I tell people, you know, when they join mentorship masters, you want to pick the person when you join that is most like what you want to become. And I got to tell you guys, Nick, he he's going after it. I mean, forty. To, he he wants to do. Uh, well, he's he's on track to do a million dollars in GCI September you know, year over year. And he's doing the right things to do it. He has a life. Did you hear that? He works five days a week. He has weekends off, nights and weekends off. He really works four hours a day. Okay. And then in the afternoons, he might go on listing appointments or whatever might come yep, up. Yeah, some houses, listing appointments. That's it. But I really enjoy that. Just, right? The kick I'm, just out, so I'm, just, I'm just talking to my people. Yeah. I'm making a friend. And that person that I'm talking to, they have 50 friends and coworkers that one of them wants to buy or sell in the next six months. I need to get trusted enough for them to send me that person. So I'm 100% customer service. I'm attached to my phone like crazy. I tell everybody, man, if you wanna get a hold of me and you have a question, I'm 5 a.m. to 9 p.m., no matter what. But if you, you know, get me before that or after, I might be around too. But five to nine, man, I'm on it. Let's go, shoot me a text, give me a call. I'm happy to talk with you. So, so it sounds like in the mornings you're real, you're on purpose. You get your four hours in. You don't want to hit burnout, um, so you don't overdo it. Yep. And then you you kind of kick it, and you have you're kind of on call in the afternoon. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm just on call. I'm doing my thing, but I enjoy this so much. It's, I don't ever feel like I'm really working, working, right? Because yeah. I I found the way to do it where it's just you know it fits my personality, and then I just found you know I know my why. I know what I want. I think, you know, I just want to go hit these goals that I got for myself. And I don't want to miss an ounce of time with the family, right? Like, you're never going to get that back. That's real. You know, every age my daughter turns, I'm like, man, that's my favorite age. You know? <laughs> so, I mean, work a little bit in the morning, go hang out in the afternoon, show some houses, take some listing appointments. And if you don't want to do it, just have somebody go do that part. You know, I don't like paperwork, so I have somebody that does that part. You know, these, you know, there's a ton of companies you can get for not that much money to go and do all of this for you. If you can generate a bunch of leads, I got a company right now that will call up to 300 leads a month for you. They touch it 25 times before they just put them on a drip campaign and they're 300 bucks and they'll call all your leads. You never have to talk to anybody. Wow. You yeah. know, and they send you the ones that are just like, yeah, I might buy some. I might want to talk to somebody and then you just talk to them. Hey. Can I help you? No? Oh, cool, man. Take care. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. it. And, and you're not emotionally attached to the outcome. Well, Nick, I got to tell you, no. man, I, I am so proud of you. I, I'm, I'm just super, um, you know, at, they finally called me Uncle Nolly. And, and so I have, uh, you know, we, we, we try not to say we have favorites, but I will say Nick is one of my absolute favorites. Hey, I appreciate that, man. <laughs> because, you're my favorite too. Because, because when I text Nick, I mean, one time we were texting and I was like, dude, because uh, he had, you know, Nick already has several people that he's brought over to Mentorship Masters and he needed something that was paperwork oriented. And he was like, dude, um, you know, this is what you're here for. You know, I'm not going to do this. And I'm like, I, I was like, man, I like him. He, he's and it was real. It was like, yeah, he's, he's definitely saying what's right. I mean, th that's my role. That's my job, you know, and, and you won't allow someone to put their job back on your plate. And I love that about you. You're very, um, you're on point, you're on purpose, man. And, and uh, yeah, as much as I can get somebody else to do it for me, that can clear up my time to go do these money making activities. Yeah. 
yeah, I gotta, I gotta get that off my plate. Cause there's a lot of stuff that's $20 an hour activity opposed to, you know, however X amount of dollars mine is, right? So, so Nick, what areas do you service? Uh, man, from Seattle to Bellingham, I'll take care of anybody. Okay, so if you, yeah. if, if you're a homeowner, or or if you're, uh, and you know, you want to buy a home anywhere from Bellingham to Seattle, Nick is your man. Now, if you're a real estate agent watching this, and you you've got a referral, you want to put it in the hands of somebody that's competent, that knows what they're doing, is lovable, that you know the people that you refer to are going to actually love this guy, because um, you, you can see that already then Nick is your guy, okay? And if you're a real estate agent out there and you wanna have the right coach, the right mentor like Nick, um, uh, you know, and I, I eventually I see you, Nick, just on the phone for like one hour a week with your group, like a huddle, and you're teaching, yep. hey man, this is how I got three deals this week. And you're just teaching them the stuff, the no nonsense stuff. If you want that, then Nick is your guy. You, uh, to, you know, you can join Mentorship Masters. Nick can be your sponsor. So what's the best way for people to get a hold of you, Nick? Call or text anytime. 206 312 1000. Easy. Say it again. 206 312 1000. Yeah. And, and Nick. Yeah. Is, anytime. Yeah. Nick is so good that even when he was picking his phone number, he'd text me, like, man, do you like this number or that number? And I'm like, man, they're really. And then Nick will always nail me down. Okay, man, pick one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, see, this is how I look at it. The reason I'm part of this is because I want that mentorship. I know Nolly's the man, he's got a proven track record. He doesn't want to grind every day. I love grinding every day, but he's got the knowledge and know-how. So if I can just bounce some questions off him and get the proven answer and know that that's, that's the right way to do it or that's the right thing to choose, I'm all about it, man. I don't want to go do trial and error for six months and then decide on one thing because these two didn't work out that well. I just burnt a lot of time and a lot of energy and maybe a lot of money. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you can find the right way to do it the first time, man, just, just do it. I don't care what it costs. You're going to save more spending some money right now than trying a bunch of failures. I love it. Any closing thoughts there, Nick? <sighs> man, no, no. If I can do anything for anybody, let me know. Appreciate I'm always here. So appreciate your loving heart, Nick. And, um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll reach out to you. Text me, man, anytime you have any questions, bro. Oh, I will. You know I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, brother. Love you, man. All right, man. Love you too, bro. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Take care. All right.